Good morning, folks. Start off with some good news today out of China. Talk about those without a voice getting a little bit more of a voice about a political justice. Imagine if Nebraska corn farmers took on Wall Street and Washington and won. Courtesy of our buddies at Anonymous, 5 million emails sent to WikiLeaks, and there's already some interesting stuff coming out of it. We can't wait to see what else comes out of it. The Greeks have reached a temporary debt deal, and while this does not completely fix the situation, basically right now the bill is getting stuck with the rich people. A lot of you know that we are under an earthquake watch and will be for the next couple of days. We've had some strong geomagnetic activity and that combined with the fact that we had a full moon last night and while it was back there it conjoined with Mars up in the sky. Those together put us on an earthquake watch. Now we had a, a 7.1 just a few hours ago in Vanuatu as the USGS likes to do it has already downgraded it to a 6.7. Even with the downgrade it's a fairly strong quake. We also had a 5.8 yesterday in China which is larger than average for that part of the world. I've received a lot of emails saying, hey, you really need to include volcanoes in these earthquake watches, and that's absolutely right. They're relevant as well. The Alaska volcano went off last night along with one in Kamchatka. Folks, just a few minutes ago, the KP index hit 7, which indicates a strong geomagnetic storm. This is about... 12 to 24 hours later than we expected however this is what we were expecting to happen you can see the strong disturbance there on the flux gate and the temporal variations here on the induction magnetometer showing earth's resonance also here you can see on the vhf rio meter the blue and the red opposite of where we'd like them to be when the red's above the blue that means the ionosphere is working overtime and you can see here that uh, at least a little bit of good news we're no longer in an s3 radiation storm Folks, this big sunspot is labeled Beta Gamma Delta still. It is somewhat dangerous. Um, it is nothing like it, what it used to be, as you can clearly see here, but it did. Um, it is putting off some strong flares along with its little buddy up to the right. And we do have another uh, active region coming over the limb here. Uh, it doesn't look to be too huge, but it is magnetically complex. And look over there on the left where that's turning around. It is active. So when we have a look on the sun, folks, we are going to have to continue to watch these active regions, even though they don't look as dangerous as they were before. That dark coronal hole down at the bottom of the screen should be hitting us with a coronal hole stream at some point in the next day or two. And we do have a couple of magnetic filaments writhing on the sun. Other than that, folks, the earthquake watch continues. Keep your eye on the skies, folks, in the evening evening for the Venus and Jupiter conjunction. It's getting closer and closer every day now, just a few days away. That's the news. Be safe.